starring Cloris Leachman, John Shepard, George Chandler, and John Provost as Timmy. And, of course, Lassie. Shotgun, that's what I need. Get my hands on a shotgun. tries to improve himself, and what happens? Along come them thieving, sneaking, destroying barbers. Whoa, there. Now, where do you think you're going with that antique? After them crows. Where do you think I'm going? What crows? What crows? Them crows that are ruining my experimentation corn. That's what crows. Well, you use this thing, and you'll disappear before the crows will. Well, Got to use what's to hand. What about a scarecrow? Scarecrow? Yeah. Now, why didn't I think of that before? Sure looks mean. Looks like I feel. Do you think the crows will be scared? Uh, they better be. Eating all my hybrid corn seed. God dang, crows are a menace to society. Uncle Petrie, if nobody likes crows, what are they for? Darn if I know. Other crows, I guess. I guess I don't understand everything. Come on, Lassie. <coughs> you better get away from here. Or else it'll repeat you look worse than that scarecrow. He doesn't look scared. <coughs> Something wrong with him. His wings hurt. We better take him into the house. Come on. Isn't that fixed yet, Paul? Not yet. Mom, is that is that Dad? Paul, look at this. Shot at any many place else, he'd be another dead crow by now. Who'd want to shoot a bird? Well, some crows are a menace. Most farmers shoot them on sight. Oh, that's cruel. They don't hurt anybody. Well, now I'd say that indirectly they do. See if you let them alone, then they'll eat the seed before it has a chance to take root. Maybe they're hungry. Maybe. Come to think of it, aren't we all? <laughs> what a good boy. Well. But the scarecrow anchored my corn patch, but went and lost my gold chain someplace. A good luck, solid gold chain. Belonged to my great-great-grandfather. 
Gee, that's a shame, Uncle Petrie. It's 13 karat gold watch chain? Yep. Never thought me and that chain would ever separate. Close as my big toe. All on account of them crows. If it weren't for them... <laughs> What's that? He hasn't got your gold chain on it. Now look, this isn't just a crow. This is a very special crow. He's a casualty. Mm-hmm. Somebody shot him. Shouldn't have missed. He's an enemy right in our house. Well, now, maybe he is, but he's defenseless. He's harmless. Well, this poor guy can't even fly. Besides, he's lashing my friend. He came to us for help. All I know is they're out to ruin my corn patch. He might even be a spy. Oh, Uncle Petrie. He deserves some sort of reward, whoever he is. He's empty. Oh. Well, one good turn deserves another. And I'd say that he was trying to repay you for taking him in. He's a real friend. And a fine feathered friend at that. I'm a jungle peacher. Come on. I'm a peacher. What is it, boy? Look. I guess you found it. What's that, that thing doing in my corn patch? Now, get him out of here. But Uncle Petrie. You heard me? Get him out of here. What do you think I put that up there for? I don't want him getting used to it. But he's our friend. He's your... You mean that? <coughs> no friend of mine. That goes for him and all his relatives, too. I guess we better go. Am I the only one who's willing to face the facts? There just ain't no place for a gall darn crow around the farm. Especially when I'm experimenting with hybrid corn. Try it again. Put him in the can. He did it! Are you sure his wing is well? He's had plenty of time to heal, son. At any rate, we'll soon know. Inky certainly trusts us. I never would have believed it of a wild bird. He isn't wild, Mom. He's our friend. I'm sure he's convinced of it. There. Maybe you forgot how to fly. Oh, I doubt that. I know, he'd probably feel more natural outside in the open. Sounds logical. Mm-hmm. What's the matter, son? Are you afraid Inky might fly away to me? Birds were meant to fly to me. What if he never comes back? Well, I'm afraid that's a chance we'll have to take. You wouldn't want to keep Inky here if he didn't want to stay, would you, Timmy? Oh. Are you ready, Inky? Yeah, thief and thief, get out of my corn patch. Scoop! Shoot! Yeah. You hear me? Scoop! You hear me? Quack it! Jump! Quack! Get! Get! Don't 
talk back to me. Now shoot, shoot. Hey, get off that scarecrow, you, you brazen blackbird. Get, shoot, shoot, scarecrow. Get out. You understand English? Get out of here. And stay away. We'll have to face the possibilities. I think he might not come back, son. But he's your friend. Icky is still a wild creature to me. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, if there's to be any supper, I've got to get in that kitchen. And I've got some chores to finish, too. Well, what's the matter with you? Oh, that, that, that critter perched right up there on the scarecrow and, and then insulted me. Oh, now what's your trouble? Uh, some blasted crow. Was it Minky, Uncle Petrie? Well, how do I know? All crows look the same to me. They all are the same. Fly and thieves, that's all they are. Pecking away at my hybrid seeds not more than a couple feet away from me. Do you think it was Inky? It wasn't. Inky wouldn't do a thing like that. Yeah, what's all this talk? Something I'm not in on, huh? Well, we took off Inky's bandage a little while ago, and he flew away. Oh, so that's who it was. That's what we get for taking pity on man's natural enemy. Turns right around and snaps at the hand that feeds it. It's not true. <coughs> it's Inky, he's back. I knew it, I knew it. Well, what do you know? Well, wonders never cease. Let me tell you all something. Either that crow goes or I go. Ain't room enough on this farm for the both of us. You mean Petrie didn't need his supper at all? He's serious about that crow, Paul. It's become a matter of principle with him now. Uh, to him, Inky's an enemy. It represents every crow in the world. Hi, son. We said goodnight to Inky. Good for you. Now you can say goodnight to us, young man. It's way past your bedtime. You have to be at the dentist early tomorrow. Night, Mom. Good night, honey. You sleep well. Don't forget to wash your face and brush your teeth. Night, Dad. Good night, son. Pleasant dreams. And don't forget to hang up your clothes and put... I have put... pleasant dreams and sleep well, so I have so many things to worry about before I go to bed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where's Uncle Petrie? I want to say goodnight to him. Well, Timmy, let's say that Uncle Petrie's... Oh, Angry is not the word. Maybe upset's a better word about our keeping Inky here. You mean he's upset at me? Not exactly, Timmy. He just feels sort of put upon, as though we hadn't considered his feelings at all. You understand, sir? You mean he thinks we love Inky more than we love him? Well, now, I guess you could put it that way. Come on, now, you run along. Good night, Slugger. Sleep tight. Night. Up in, son. Bye, Nancy. Bye, Inky. We'll be back soon. We won't be long, Uncle Petrie. Have a good lunch. If you wanted to take your teeth and to be checked, what? Well, Timmy. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Be hanging around me if you're going to be fraternizing with that critter. <coughs> yes, I found out who my friends are. Everybody going over to the enemy. <coughs> Guess I better fix the cover on the well. You're awful quiet, son. What's on your mind? Uncle Petrie. Oh? Anything you'd like to talk about? Rusty and I already discussed it last night. We had a long talk. We decided Inky's a real nice friend. 
But we love Uncle Peachy more. And if Uncle Peachy's unhappy because of Inky, we're going to tell Inky he has to leave. That was an important decision. And a very wise one, too. It's the biggest decision we ever had to make. feet long and have a hook on the end of it. Thanks for finding my chain. All of a sudden, I wanted to be buried with it. Come on, Lassie, more! 